Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the worst apology in Magic. You know the apology is very bad when the person, one of your closest friends, if not your best friend, calls you out publicly on it. And that is what happened here. Regarding Todd Stevens, this community has been and will continue to be the most important part of this game for me. It has come to light through allegations of sexual harassment misconduct that Todd has not acted with integrity and decency. He hurt the people around him with his actions. Based on his statement yesterday, I don't believe he understands the severity of his actions. Refusing to take responsibility and placing the blame of what happened on the victims is unacceptable. Speaking out against someone I admired so this is someone who has been podcasting with Todd Stevens for a long time. This is someone that is very close to Todd Stevens. It would be like your best friend publicly putting you on blast. And that's what it is. Now, how bad? How bad is it? It's the worst Magic the Gathering apology ever. Speaking out against someone I admired and worked with brings me no joy, but the safety and growth of the community is paramount. To that end, going forward, I will not be involved with any production in which he is a participant, essentially blacklisting him, not only for this person, but for many others as well. The guy's name is TJ Talks A Lot, and he podcasted with Todd Stevens. And now he is flaying him. Uh, many of you may ask, what is wrong with this? Uh, this should be something that we all do. And I agree. One of the worst parts about the magic community is every so often, myself included, we go on a witch hunt. And sometimes we find witches. And sometimes we find male witches. Wizards of the coast. Sometimes we find wizards in white. I'm not even fine, Wizards in Black. So, when you talk about Magic the Gathering, you have to talk about sexual harassment, you have to talk about cheating, you have to talk about backstabbing, and why would... So let's say that we get into an argument with your best friend, and you don't agree with what they're doing, so your solution is to publicly, publicly put him on blast, to the point that if your best friend is saying this stuff about you, uh, if your best friend is making a public comment where he believes that you are a criminal or you have committed sexual harassment, man, what is everyone else going to think? Your life is donezo. Donezo. And of course, we have the A.E. Marling, official Wizard of Coast person saying, well done. So Todd Stevenson was a popular magic streamer on twitch now he is a popular homeless person and that's what happens when you put too much of your stock into this game this game is not going to reward you i've talked about christine sprankles in great detail about how wizard of coast commercialized the blank out of her she was in gp las vegas uh website she was being used to promote the event come see christine christine will be nice to you she might even give you a hug come see her come see her come see her and they've done this for every event that she has been on and it's very unfortunate because uh, you don't get paid todd stevens isn't paid to promote magic you get very minimal benefits if the number one magic pro player pv he makes about thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars a year, which I I'm being told in Brazil is a ton of money. That's like one vintage deck. So I don't care how much money it is in Brazil. If you're buying Magic cards, thirty-five thousand dollars is not that much money when decks cost five hundred to a thousand dollars in standard, and thousand to fifteen hundred in modern, depending on what you want to play, and then far more in what is underground C now. It used to be 800 bucks, right? I have not checked the price on that because I really am afraid to check what the price on those have been. But yeah, the place of Underground Seas and the place of Tundras and that those are just the eight land that you need. So 
accused of sexual har harassment, his defense seems to be, I didn't do it or I don't care if I did it. And his best friend turns on him. This community will turn on you in a dime. It will. I have no hope that if I did something bad, I would be eaten alive by my own baby lions. And rightfully so, because that, should, that is the cycle of life. And that is what Todd Stevens is being done. That This is what's being done to Todd Stevens by his fans, by his co-hosts, by Star City Games. As soon as there is a blemish on you, you are persona non grata and it is feeding time. The same with Dan's, both Dan's, right? The same with Frank's. Um, it is very shocking to me and crazy how someone can do bad things for a long time in the magic community, gets called out one time in a red post, and then their life is over. So this isn't the first time Todd Stevens has done something bad. This is his apology. As Star City Games announced, I am no longer affiliated with them. I appreciate the time I had with Star City Games and am thankful for the opportunities and magic that I had through my contract with them. So essentially, he wants to continue to play magic. As Joe mentioned, good luck going back to being a teacher after this. And the person responded, way to kick a guy while he's down. You are a shameless asshole. Two weeks ago, everyone loved him with some people make some random accusations and now he's a devil. This could literally happen to any man, guilty or not. This belief, the victim's regardless thing is so stupid. Wow, Todd got a new account, I guess. Instablock. <laughs> Todd Stevens did nothing wrong. <laughs> It doesn't matter, right? Like, let me just make this very simple. Uh, there's a dude. His name is David Park. He was a magic judge. He got convicted or pled or something. He went to jail for multiple high. So he was a high school biology teacher. He taught freshman high school, uh, freshman biology in high school. He would offer private lessons in his apartment to his attractive younger female students, and. Maybe he gave the lessons. Let's assume that he didn't actually do anything creepy and he was giving private biology lessons, that's creepy enough, in his bedroom. Well, blank me. I mean, maybe you are the point one in a billion people not trying to do something wrong in that, given that situation. Exerting your magic to judge influence. Or in Frank's case, the fame. I, I made a documentary. I'm not going to go into too much detail. The documentary got taken down because it was mentioned Frank's name. Or a private individual was offended by some of the things that were said in the said documentary. So, whatever. But my point is very simple. This community, there's nothing this community likes more than drama. I'm dead serious. A lot of you criticize me for being a drama llama or creating drama when there isn't any and blah 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 look how fast they turn on them just like his supporter i mean his number one supporter todd stevens did nothing wrong i mean you can't be more of a supporter or fan than that says that two weeks ago you all loved him and now you've all turned how f i mean that is scary effective and honestly like if i would not expect any mercy if I did something bad, none. Now, am I a perfect individual? No, but I'm also not these people, right? I'm not trying to get people drunk so I can sexually assault them. And I'm not, you know, talking, like I'm, I haven't even been banned by Wizard of Coast, which I addressed in a, another video, which is shocking, right? Like I'm a little shocked because they have my accounts, they know who I am. They know where I live. They know all everything about me because I've talked to their lawyers, not just one of them, but two of them. Talked to the Hasbro and Wizard Coast lawyers, as well as them sending an email with all my, quote, DCI numbers, end quote. So Todd Stevens is blanked. Uh, he's definitely going to struggle to stay above water. He wasn't the biggest streamer out there already, and these events will definitely harm his viewer count. 
as far far as apologies go, I don't think I did anything wrong, so I'm going to ignore it. See you tomorrow for my regular stream. Might actually be the worst ever. Yeah, pretty uh, bad apology. And this is how Magic players apologize. Remember when Alex Bertini got caught for cheating? What was his apology? His apology was, blank you, I'm back. No remorse, no guilt. It's the same with Dan. Do you know that Dan Ward dude? He went on a podcast with the owner of the Kinderwind store. And then they looked at my video. <laughs> His defense was, people cheat all the time. Look at this other guy who cheated. Why are you giving him? I think it was Brian Kibler. It was some other dude. And I was giving the other dude the benefit of the doubt because A, I didn't see the cheat on camera. And B, you know, benefit of the doubt. So at the end of the day, like, he wanted to know why I wasn't giving him the benefit of that, although he clearly cheated on the camera, which later we got caught cheating again at the national event, which kicked, I think Craig Wesco was part of his uh, team as well. And he also got kicked because one cheater means the whole team gets kicked, which should be what happens. So we have a person who is pretending to be an innocent bystander and nothing is wrong. I'll see you guys on tomorrow's stream. Yes, Todd, I will see you tomorrow on your stream. Here's, the, here's the, what I'm trying to, here's the end goal of my videos. Uh, people love drama. They love drama far more than they love finance videos, like at least for me. And there's continuous drama. There's 100% drama. Um, there's always new wedge quotes to requote. There's always things that he's saying about Donald. On Tolarian side, I mean, when your entire livelihood is based on a card, children's card game, and it is a children's card game, let's be honest, and you don't work for the company producing that children's card game, and you're just a byproduct of that company. You're a byproduct of that eminence if you will you are at risk for doing a lot of stupid stuff like pico trade that was pretty stupid like anyone who looked at pico trade could have assumed hmm they're giving away so many points and no points are exiting the system at the time what do we think is going to happen so let's say the only way that we can get more money or more card in the system is if you sign two people up and those two people sign two people up and those two people sign two people up what shape does Pika look like? I have the inside track. I mean, a long time ago, before Tolarian, before Weds, they asked me to do a Pika trade sponsorship on my website. Yes, my website. And they told me how many points they were going to give me and blah, 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 blah. And I said no, because at that time, it was a pyramid scheme or a... Some type of scheme, scam, like people don't want to say it's a pyramid scam, but like if the only way to get more cards in the system and defeat inflation momentarily is to bring, is to have the mana source bring 5,000 new people in and those 5,000 people get points as well for coming into the system, it's going to break. So poor decisions, the monthly magic box. Do you know how many Tolarian... Do you know how many videos to learn community college made on monthly box? At least four, five, or six of them. And initially, he was very positive on it. People who are desperate make poor decisions. And the more desperate you are, like Todd Stevens, the worst decision you will make. And I have never seen more desperate people than pro magic players or magic content creators who rely on this solely. So let, let me put it this way. Let's say that magic goes away. What happens to Tolarian? What happens to Wedge? What happens to Todd Stevens? What happens to Alex Bacini? What happens to Mike Long, Mark Justice? Magic is as a primary source of income is the mo most foolish thing I've ever heard. It's a children's card game. Why the blank are cards like $20,000? Children's card game. Hi, guys.